Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Meow's Cafe. I'm Hugo, the guest of honor today. And I'm pleased to have the opportunity to share my story here. Oh well, speaking of the topic of poverty, it reminds me of the tough years during university. But my wife rescued me. You cannot imagine how lucky I am. Absolutely not. I was really poor during my university days. My dad was sick at that time. My aunt gave my mom $800 to pay for my tuition. That was also the time when I just met my wife. I was truly out of money. Others would go shopping, travel, and give gifts to their girlfriends when dating. All I could do was to walk with my girlfriend around the campus. I never gave her any gifts. Because I didn't have money. I had to budget the money in my hand to live. My wife once proposed to hand over her living expenses to me, allowing me to cover our meals. I didn't agree, because I didn't have any money. I was poor and proud, and didn't want to take advantage of a girl. My wife would eat with me and never let me pay. She would always say, Let's go to that canteen, it tastes great. Often while eating herself, my wife would coyly say that she was full and asked me to finish her food. She doesn't eat meat, but she always orders a lot, and at the end, she pushes it all to me. Sometimes, we would go to the commercial street for meals. At these times, she would become a vegetarian, only ordering shredded potatoes and stir-fried eggs and green pepper. Afterwards, my wife moved to the first campus, while I was at the new one. She would always stay in a small hotel when she came to see me. Later, she gave me a key, telling me that she had rented a flat outside the university. If I missed her, she advised me to call, and she would find me. She was afraid that I couldn't afford the cost of shuttling between the new campus and the main one, which would cost a few bucks each time. Later on, she started working while I was still studying. She worked in the capital, sharing a flat with someone. I stopped by to see her in her city when I was on my summer vacation at home. She lived in the West Second Ring. The only place I could afford was a small $10 a day hotel. For $10, it was a basement with no air conditioning and was hot like a steam room. I said, I am sorry that I could only afford this for you. However, my wife responded, No, it's pretty good. In the past, we could only talk over the phone, now I can see you in person. What is there to complain about? I am very grateful to my wife, as she has always been cautious to protect my self-esteem, my pride. When people are poor, they tend to push away the ones who are good to them. But she always stood by me, not caring that I was penniless, nor ever saying, I'll give you money to help you out. No matter how sensitive or fragile I was, she always looked at me with a bright smile, as if everything happening was normal. Her company was working on a campus community project, and she was the person in charge of the Northwestern region. I managed to expand over 3,000 users at my school within a week. She asked what I wanted, and said she would buy it for me. I responded, no need, just get me an Italian jersey from the materials we have. I'm a fan of the Italian football team. My wife mentioned, we use campus ambassadors and we offer 3.3 cents for each user registered on our platform. I refused, expressing my concern about being accused of embezzling company funds by colleagues. In reality, she was in charge of hundreds of campuses. Who would care about the regular budget of $1,000 for a single school, right? Subsequently, I worked part-time for this company before finally joining them. After three years, we failed. Our competitors seemed to win, but they also lost two years later. Many people from this company remain lifelong friends. Three years may be short, but you will always remember the people who strive together with you during the first two years of your work. More than a decade later, she is at home taking care of the kids, while I am working in the capital, living a well-off life. And she, even in a t-shirt worth five bucks with a plain face, I can still see the shadow of the girl from university who saved me. Thank you, truly.